Guys, welcome back to Cryptech Mining. Today I'm going to be showing you how to mine the Shiba Inu token. Now this is, can be quite profitable as you can tell that everyone thinks Shiba is going to go to the moon. Now as long as you have a GPU or a CPU, you can mine this. And you can even do this on your laptops as well with your CPU. So let's get into it. Alright guys, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to head over to Unmineable. Now I'm going to put all these links in the description so you guys can get easy access to this. Now guys, when we're here, you're going to see that we have ET hash, ETC hash at the top, Kapow algorithm and random X. Now if you guys don't know what they are, I'll try and explain them. But for the means of this video, we're going to be using ET hash for my GPU, which we're going to start doing this on a 3090. And we're also going to be putting this on the CPU as well, because the way I'm looking at it is, if you're going to be using your GPU to mine, and you're not at your computer, and you're a Windows person, and you've got your CPU just idling there, why not utilize it to try and boost those profits? All right, guys, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to start off with ET hash. Um, so, guys, you're going to need MB miner, Phoenix miner, Lyle miner, or T-Rex miner to do this. But if you haven't got one, I will put a link to MB Miner in my description so you guys can get over there and download it now. Once you've downloaded it, extract it, and then I'll show you guys how to set this up. Now, guys, once you have downloaded MB Miner, the first thing you want to do is you need to start a new bat file. So we're going to be obviously using the ET hash. So we're going to copy the start ET hash. We're going to paste it here. I'm personally going to rename this to start SHIB. Now, you're going to right-click that and go to edit. Now, once you've opened your bat file, now, obviously, you need to edit it. So, as you can see here, we have the global server. So, in the global server, it has eths.unamineable.com, and the port is 43s. Okay, so, we need to paste that in our stratum address. So, we're going to paste that in our stratum address. Now, then, as you can see here, this here is an Ethereum address. Okay, so, obviously, you need to keep in mind that Shiba Inu comes under Ethereum. Okay, so it comes under the Ethereum blockchain, and it's an Ethereum token. Okay, so you need to use your Ethereum address and your wallet ID. So the only thing you need to do, if you already have this set up like what I do, you want to add the token SHIB, and then you want to add the colon. Now, by doing that, you've already technically, the way you've set this up now, it should run straight away. Now, obviously, you can change this uh, after this full stop here. If you're new to this, you can change this last part here to... Whatever name you want to name this worker. So uh, at the moment, I'm going to leave this as personal PC. All right, we're going to hit the save button on that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start mining this to show you guys how it connects to the server. All right, guys. So as you can see, we've got our start ship. So make sure you go file, save, or control S that one. You can exit that one now. So that's now set up. Okay, so now if we hit start ship, you're going to see that it's going to connect to the unmineable servers. And it should start hashing. Okay, so we should start getting new jobs and we should start getting new shares. Now, while this is loading, I just want to explain what does Unmineable do. So, Unmineable, so obviously you're providing your hash power to them so they can utilize your hash power for their own tokens and things like that. Now, what they do is that they'll pay you in the currency that you have selected. So, obviously, we've put SHIB colon our wallet ID. So, that, that tells their server that we want to be paid for our hashing power in Shiba Inu token. Okay, so guys, as you can see, um, I am running a 39 at the moment. I'm getting 72 mega ashes now. You got to keep in mind, I am recording whilst I'm doing this video. If I wasn't recording, I'd definitely be hitting my 120 mega hashes. Okay, now that's obviously going to make us so many tokens. Um, but guys, now that we've set this up, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to move on to getting our CPU now set up so that we can mine with our CPU on top of this. And then we're going to try and do some calculations to figure out how much we should make within a month. You can exit that miner now. You're not going to need MB miner after this. Now, after you've set up your MB miner and you come back to unmineable, what you want to do is you want to come over to the random X tab. Now, random X is what we're going to be using. We're going to be using XM rig to do this. If you don't have XM rig, I'll leave a link in the description to where you can download it. And guys, get that downloaded and I'll show you guys where to proceed from that point. Now, guys, obviously, your CPU, you're not going to make too much money from your CPU, but it's, something's better than nothing in my regard, especially if you're going to be mining. Why not add on to what you're, what you're getting? Now, guys, once you have downloaded XM Rig, open up its folder and head over in there, okay? So, as you can see, I've already set up a SHIB bat file that we can already use. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click edit on this so you can see it. So, it's the same kind of thing. We've got XM Rig, O, RX, Unmineable, same port, okay? So this is all set up. And it's the same thing. Shib, colon, your Ethereum wallet address. And then obviously the name of that worker. So once you have all that set up, which I'm actually going to make this a bit easier for you guys. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put this in the description, okay? 
And all you will need to do is update your wallet address and your worker name. Okay, so once you've done that and you've, you've created a new bat file or you've pasted this in somewhere, what you need to do is you need to go to xmrig, the, the .exe. You need to go to your properties, hit your compatibility and tick that box. Run this program as an administrator. What does this do? It gives the program the privileges to tune the CPU so you can get the best hashes out of your CPU. Okay, so make sure you click that, hit apply and okay. Now, once that's complete, you can then start mining your SHIB from your CPU. Now, this is how it's going to come up. And as you can see, it has a service that already exists here for me because obviously we have allowed it to have its administrative privileges, okay? And not just that, it tunes the CPU. Now then, what you guys will see the first time you mine with this program is going to say Windows PC needs to be restarted. So you can get the best hash rate you can mining Shiba Inu token with your CPU. Now guys, this has already started mining. So what I'm going to do within this program is if we hit H, if you press H in the console, you're going to see how many hashes we're getting now. I know that I usually get about 21 hashes. This is because I'm obviously recording at the moment. It's down about 25%. So guys, now as you can see, now that's set up. So now you have your GPU that can mine chip and your CPU. So, so now then once that's complete, you can exit that. Now what I want to do is I want to go into here. Now I obviously know that on the ET hash algorithm, I'm going to be getting about 120 to 125 hashes. Now this is saying to me, that I'm going to be making 8208804. So I'm going to be making about 8.2 million SHIB a month just, just from my graphics card. Now, that's if I was to mine 24-7, keep in mind. Now, I know I'm going to get about... Oh, I'm going to say... Two, I usually get about 2,100, but for the means of this video, I'm going to say 2,000 hashes on my CPU. Now then, with that, I'm also going to be gaining an extra... 116,000 SHIB on top of that. Now, it doesn't seem like much, but at the same time, if you're mining Shiba Inu and you're leaving your computer on to do these things, why not utilize that extra bit of power to be able to gain the extra coins? We're obviously going to be making 8.3 million coins a month. Now then, at the price that Shiba Inu is right now, we want to see how much that's worth. So we're going to go SHIB to USD, or for me, it would be AUD, but I'll usually go off USD. So, we have a total of 8325, 8325, 732, I think it was. Don't quote me. So, that there is automatically going to be paying us $233 in Shiba Inu a month. Okay, now, if that's me running a 3090, obviously, there's going to be other cards that aren't as powerful as that. I mean, obviously, but... You can obviously do the conversion yourself and figure out how much you'll be making in USD a month from Shiba Inu. Now, if everyone's right and they're saying Shiba Inu is going to go to the moon or, you know, with the massive burning that has been happening with Shiba Inu lately, if this coin does hit one cent, then obviously your profits are going to go up phenomenally for those months. Now, just for you other guys who are running um, graphics cards that have less than well, four gigabytes or less in memory, now, you have your ETC hash algorithm and your Kapow algorithm. Now, the only thing I want to mention about these two here is that let's just say you're running a 1050 Ti, you get about 12 mega hashes on the ETC network, okay? So, you're looking at 405,000 SHIB a month. But if you come over to your Kapow, which is usually half of what you're going to be mining on, on the ETC network, you're actually going to be making 533,000. So, it's always best to keep in mind that the Kapow algorithm is always going to be better if for those low-end cards. So... If you need to set up the Kapow, just go in through your own B miner and just change the algorithm to Kapow. Or you can do that by clicking Get Started with MB Miner. Now, this is obviously going to be very easy. Now, I'm going to show you. So, obviously, this is how we've set ours up. That's fine. All you need to do for the Kapow algorithm is change A, E, T, hash. That's all you need to change in your bat file to A, Kapow. Okay, now that's obviously going to change it straight away and it'll change it to the Kapow algorithm. And that will work just as fine. Now, the next thing you need to change on here is, is the ET hash. So I'm just going to show you guys how to do this super quick. Now, guys, you just want to go back to your start SHIB bat file that you've made. You want to right-click, go edit. Now, you just want to change this to Kapow. And you want to change this ET hash or ETC hash, depending on what you're using, to KP. Now, all you do is save that. And it's obviously going to start mining under the Kapow algorithm. That covers that off. 
Now, guys, this is the end of this video. So, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please remember to hit that like button, subscribe button, and notification bell. Um, it does really help me out a lot. If you have anything else you might want, that you think I may have missed, please add it in the comments below, and I'll definitely get to your comments when I can. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Be safe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.